Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cigar Asylum. Well, it's the big weekend, New Orleans. It's the peak of Mardi Gras season. And I thought, why not review the Voodoo Blood Cigar? All right. Now let's get this out of the plastic and see what we got. The band is a skeleton, a red skeleton, kind of blood red skeleton. Not too big. The wrapper definitely has some flaws in it. You can see the veins there. There's a little tiny bit of uh, damage there under the wrapper. Uh, not really much of an oily sheen. And the foot seems decently packed. I will say the this this batch that I just got uh, a few, I think uh, last week. Um, very over humidified. They're very soft. That cut. But uh, the rest of them I'll let sit in my humidor until I get them to the kind of the quality that I like. Slide up. <sighs> right off the start, I've got coffee right off the bat. Kind of that deep roasted, almost not quite burnt coffee but getting there very strong and some habano spice um, if you smoke cubans or a lot of uh, cigars with the habano seed you'll know exactly what i'm talking about i don't know what you call it exactly but for years i just call it habano spice and it's uh i, I like that kind of spice okay so the Voodoo Serves of Cigar are uh, made at the Jesus Fuego Cigar Factory for Famous Smokes. Um, There's several, maybe six or seven uh, different blends, and they all have uh, a different Voodoo theme. I know there's a Voodoo Priest and so forth and so on. And I've had pretty much all of them. The Voodoo Blood number 13 is their Corona size, which is 5.5 by 46. Now this size came in a pack of 13, comes in a red uh, kind of paper. And uh, they had of them, I don't know if they still have them, but they had them on sale for like $23.95 for 13. And that's what, dollar eighty something a cigar. I mean, that's incredibly insane for it, the quality as far as the the flavor and taste of this of this cigar goes so at this point in the cigar the habano spice has really dropped off and the coffee and and leather has kicked in and it's got those two together have gotten really strong but not a lot of habano spice anymore now the blend on this consists of a Nicaraguan Corojo 99 wrapper, aged uh, to Maduro color and flavor. That's where you should get a good part of your Habano spice uh, flavor from. You have a Costa Rican binder, and you have a three-region blend uh, for the fillers, which is Dominican Piloto Cubano, Honduran Corolla and Pennsylvania Sun Grown. Now, I would expect with this blend, I would be tasting a lot of um, spice. But like I say, I've, it's kind of really tapered off. And I've had to, uh, honestly, I've had to relight this several times, and I really do think it's because of the moisture content in it. That may be why I'm not getting a lot of the Habano spice flavor, too, coming through because of the moisture content. But I'll let them sit in the humidor a few months, and uh, hopefully that'll let them get to the uh, consistency that I like, dry them out a little bit. And they should be, they should be uh, better as far as the uh, spice and being able to keep the cigar going without having to continuously light it. Now, I will say... Um, with those critiques, the flavor itself is really good. The coffee, the, the deep roasted coffee flavor and the leather are very strong. 
Also, um, the little jar that I have over to the left, I'm going to show it better at the end of the video. But uh, that is what their, I believe, Robusto size came in. When I, I've had that jar a few years um, and originally came with, uh, I think it was 20 Robusto uh, cigars. But it is really nice. I mean, it's its own little humidor. Came with a Bavita pack in it. They do keep cigars uh, very well. Um, it's got some interesting design around it. Um, some really cool artwork that all depicts like kind of a stylized voodoo, you know, with the voodoo jars and and uh, uh, there's a bloody handprint on the on the top of the thing, on the top of the jar. But um, it, it's really cool. It is. Uh, not painted on though it's like a, a maybe not a sticker but it's a paper that's been glued on around it and I do have it is starting to come uh, on certain places uh, unpeeled but I also don't think I I can't remember I don't think I pay too much for the jar maybe with the 20 cigars maybe 50 or 60 dollars um, that was about three years ago that I got that jar but every time I get voodoo cigars, I go ahead and throw them in there. So I want to do a shout out to everybody in New Orleans and around the world that are celebrating the Mardi Gras season. And uh, this is kind of the peak weekend, I think last weekend and this weekend in New Orleans. Got all the parades going and partying going on and all accumulating uh, to, uh, to this Tuesday, Fat Tuesday. Um, some people, uh, it's referred to Pancake Tuesday and uh, Shrove Tuesday. So for everyone that observes uh, Lent, I uh, hope you all pig out on Tuesday. And uh, if you abstain from anything, if you fall that close, don't give up cigars. Give up maybe smoking cigarettes, maybe some kind of food you like. But if it is cigars, good for you. You have a hell of a, a willpower, and uh, you're a better person than I am. Cause I don't think I could do that. There's uh, one of the uh, types of masks people wear at uh, Carnival and, and Mardi Gras. And when I think of New Orleans, a lot of images come to my mind. There's Audrey, if anybody knows who that is. Actually, Audrey, too. But I, I think of a lot of different things. Um, I think of jazz, of course. Um, I think of Cajun food. I think of swamps a lot. <laughs> Just from stuff I guess I've seen in movies. Um, I also... Uh, I, I think of voodoo, and that's because of movies also. How they've uh, definitely portrayed the voodoo religion in... Uh, movies and, and shows and books uh, it's kind of on the horror genre side of things so the leather <clears throat> and wood I think is what's going to finish the cigar out very heavy right now So as I kind of finish up this review, definitely uh, at this point, you know, most of the flavors in this are the wood and the leather, which are very wonderful. Um, no spice, not a lot of other flavors. Not, I didn't taste a lot of wood, um, but that's okay. You know, again, for $1.84 a cigar, you know, you can't really complain too much. It's it's a great smoke for the taste. Um so, but I want to wrap up here uh, by showing you some of the artwork on this jar. I think it's very well done. All the different voodoo jars have different artwork. So with that, we're going to wrap up. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 cigar review. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you really watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of... Cigar Asylum. Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to my uh, nephew, Stuart, 
who loaned me the uh, Fuente ashtray for this episode. <clears throat> I've got the black one and the green one, and he's got the white, red, and green one, and I thought the red looked really cool. I need to get that one as soon as I can find it on sale somewhere. But thanks, Stuart. I do appreciate it.